So, you flew from London, especially for from Paris today. From Paris sure. today, okay. Sure and uh, especially for specifically for a very important announcement that we started to did in the press, I guess, this morning. Yes. And uh, I think we need to emphasize it a little bit more because I think it will be uh, having a huge impact on the industry. Because if I am a writer and suddenly when I got an accident or I'm sick and I'm staying at home, I've got a revenue. It means that all the rest, the competitors, people using riders, will have to adapt. That's the calculation between, uh, between us, saying, okay, if we need to keep the flexibility but have more security, that's the way to go. Deliveroo is opening the way. So how, long, how, mean, how much time have you been working on this? We've been working from the observation, observatory, several actors. It needed a lot of discussions with various governments. And we said, OK, at day one, it's better for a company to say something, to do something. And sometimes we should not wait for the regulators or the governments, because it could take time. Companies can go faster. And I guess that's the plan. So how much time to, 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 to prepare such an announcement? And then how do you want to expand it? Or what's the plan about it? Two questions. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. So uh, we have been working you know, for a long time on uh, what we call you know, the trade-off you know, between flexibility and security. And we're very proud you know, to have been innovating you know, in the space you know, since the start of the uh, of 2017 when we actually introduced our first you know insurance product you know for our riders and i think you know ever since and since the beginning of our company we have been you know working actively and campaigning you know for uh, you know making sure that we can find ways you know that flexible work you know can attract not only good earnings you know but also security and so we are very excited you know that we have been uh, uh, announcing today the introduction of uh, a market leading you know and completely free sick pay insurance you know for our riders which is uh, you know the most generous uh, actually insurance that uh, on demand workers you know can find today in the company yeah yeah so i think it's the first time any kind of company let's call them digital companies is doing this kind of announcement right yeah so we so we introduced you know we were the first company to introduce you know our uh, insurance product actually back in 2017 so we pioneered you know this uh, first move in the space and then since you know a lot of other companies you know have followed suit yeah and uh, you know we're very proud of that you know we think you know that the more companies you know will embrace you know this new way of working and you know what the on the month economy workers you know are about you know the better yeah. it is yeah and you starting by friends why friends <laughs> well you uh, can speak freely we are in monaco not in france so <laughs> this is a free territory no yeah. we're very proud you know to actually you know have uh, you know introduced this you know in france you know where uh, uh, there is clearly you know a lot of history you know in uh, sort of uh, the social aspects of work uh, but, you know, France, you know, is actually a country that has been leading, you know, the way for change in, uh, you know, in this new way of working. And uh, the French government has been working, you know, for some time on uh, a new mobility bill uh, and a charter, you know, that is part of this bill, you know, that will enable platforms like ours to provide our riders uh, benefits, you know, and security, you know, without jeopardizing, you know, the flexible status of independent workers, you know, that they have. So I think, you know, it is very fitting, you know, that France, you know, is leading the way and, you know, we're very proud, you know, to have announced this first in France. And because in a few minutes we'll be speaking about the work group, that yep. was the first work group yep. at day one, which is led by Deliveroo, uh, yes. actually, so we'll be working on it. At, a part of what we want to do is think, experiment, expand. So do you see this announcement in France as an experimentation or do you already have the expansion part of it in mind for additional countries or something? I think as a, as a company that very much you know, campaigns you know, for the closure of this you know, gap that exists today between security and flexibility, we will continue to do more. We very much, you know, uh, look forward, you know, to uh, what's coming in the future. And to your point, you know, about you know the future of work, you know, we're also very proud that 
uh, here in France, we will be leading a working group you know, that is coordinated you know, by uh, your day one movement, uh, which includes you know, not only you know, on demand uh, economy companies like ours, you know, but also more traditional companies you know, like BMP and Sage, you know, software business, yeah. where we will continue to engage you know, as a group of companies you know, to analyze you know, the trends you know, in the job market, you know, to understand how technology is affecting you know what is happening you know in the job market and yeah. to really you know provide a forum you know for debate and for the shaping of the thinking of how the on demand work you know should be embraced you know by governments you know and other regulators wonderful one last question before we introduce and there will be a presentation yeah. with a pictures name and logo of um, the members of a group uh, what's the weight of friends uh, inside the, your business, the delivery business, how how much? It's a very important market. Very important us. market. So we eat a lot market, uh, at so home. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that sorry? Yeah, we eat a lot at at home. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, okay. Yeah. So it means that we are laziest and laziest, or <laughs> I think that, uh, it means that you enjoy good food, and we're it, very proud, yeah. you know, to bring that to your homes. And you know, this morning there was a session with three little girls, ten okay. years old, yeah. and one of them was speaking about. The, deliver, the delivering at home yeah. and the home delivery, sorry. And she said, oh, sometimes there's too much plastic. And we discussed with yeah. Louis and he said that you already had an initiative to we do. We reduce the number yeah. of plastic, giving an option to clients, but can yeah, you? Yeah. We actually, by default, uh, you know, remove plastic cutleries you know, from the orders of consumers. And so you know, if consumers actually do require you know, some cutlery want to have that in, you know, they have to request that. You know. So we are you know, very much you know, pushing forward you know, in the environmental direction as well. There's a lot more uh, that we can do and that we want to do. You know, we're looking at constant ways you know, to innovate our packaging, you know, the packaging that we provide you know, to our restaurants you know, to provide uh, food delivery you know, mm. to people's homes. You know, yeah. We're very excited about that. Yeah, it's good. Plus, Alexandro, you're the head of Europe. That's right. So technically, you're one of the most important guys at Deliveroo, right? <laughs> That's correct. Because yeah. Europe is what? It's, uh, it's a you know, big area yeah. for us. And it's yeah. five markets. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of potential in Europe. So I'm very so excited to do that. Let show on the screen the members of a group and uh, I'll ask Virginie if you would like to join us. I don't, would you come with us? Thank you. So just to explain in details, so that's the members of the group. That's the first group of the day one movement. There will be three or four additional work groups. Each of them will have a specific angle, topic, something they will be working on. And the objective is to make sure that they think about what they want to do, tell exactly when they will be doing it, experiment it, and um, expand it. So this first word that we call, how will we work tomorrow, the future of work. So there's BNP Paribas. So Rabia Lem Suder is uh, at the age department where Virginie is working. So you're... The your deputy. Your deputy, and you're the only representative yeah. of this group today because two of them missed their flight, <laughs> and one is sick. Uh, uh, Nick is in his bed, so sorry, Nick, if you're watching online. So William, Alexandro, Louis, Joe, and um, that was working on us. So yeah. Rabia, Virginie, and Gianluca, who is also uh, another Italian who's working at BNP Paribas. Anthony Dinis, um, opportunities. Um, the subsidiary of a large group uh, founded by Anthony started 20 years ago. It's 700 million in revenues. They are uh, providing services for the call centers, customer relationships uh, centers. Nick Good um, is the VP Cloud, but is also another role in Sage, based in Paris and in London at Stage. Sage is one of our partners. And Davidson. Uh, Adrien Le Rest, it's an IT consulting company, 3,000 people, mainly freelancers working remotely uh, on the client side uh, at Davidson, 15% uh, growth every year, not bad, uh, and one of the 50 only B corporation in France, so they are a B corp like Danone, 
there's only 50 of them, plus two other companies, but I cannot mention them because they don't want any publicity for, let's say, social environment reason. But um, one of the reasons why BNP was there when I talked to Rabia is that you have five, six thousand freelancers working somewhere for BNP all around the place. So it's, it's a real topic for you, right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one, the day one movement is, in, is moving which is quite a good news. Second one, we have a major announcement because I think that what Alexandro Deliveroo, William Shu, the founder, is doing today is certainly something that can affect the whole digital business industry in the next five coming years. And it's happening at day one today. So we announced it to the press this morning. Franz Van Kat was there a few minutes ago. Alessandro gave an interview. It will be in Les Echo in France Info. But Think about something. Anyone, any delivery company in France and in Europe wanting to attract and hire riders tomorrow. If they are not doing what you do, no one will, will ever work with them. They will all work for you, which is some good news, but they will have to adapt. And when you, we are speaking about flexibility, balance by security, that's exactly what the impact that day one wants to have on the world for the next coming years. And it's happening thanks to Deliveroo. So I think this guy and the whole company deserve a very warm applaud round. Thank you. Thank you, Denis. And now I'm calling and that's Eric Lestanguet that will be coming on stage with him. So you can warm me as well. Eric. Good afternoon. INRC, we can do it in French now. Maybe. Yes, yes, okay. yes. And I, I think that uh, I will be faster in French than okay. in English. And, uh, so we are late. Fast is good for <laughs> me. So, INRC, notre partenaire depuis l'année dernière, c'est une fondation qui travaille sur la, la relation client à l'origine, mais maintenant sur la relation humaine, oui. ce qui est quand même l'objectif de Day One, l'impact du digital sur la société, donc positif pour l'homme. Vous nous soutenez depuis l'année dernière. Oui. Certains de nos partenaires, d'ailleurs, contribuent à l'événement à travers vous. Tout à fait. Et donc, ce qu'on va demander à l'INRC, c'est de nous aider à animer ces groupes de travail. Très bien. Quelques mots sur l'INRC, oui. d'abord. Euh, on a des convictions au sein de l'Institut national de la relation client. La première des convictions, c'est qu'il n'y a pas de business durable sans un haut niveau de relation client. Ça, c'est la première chose. La seconde, c'est que pour avoir un haut niveau de relation client, il faut avoir un haut niveau de management. Si on veut avoir des clients satisfaits, il faut avoir des collaborateurs satisfaits. Et des collaborateurs satisfaits en pensant l'entreprise étendue. Parce que beaucoup travaillent aujourd'hui avec des prestataires, par exemple. Donc les, les employés qui sont en contact avec les clients ne sont pas les employés de l'entreprise, mais peuvent être des employés, effectivement, qui sont externes à l'entreprise. Donc c'est quelque chose d'essentiel euh, pour nous. Et là, effectivement, on a trouvé un lien avec, euh, avec Day One euh, dans, effectivement, cette, euh, cette relation, notamment, entre le digital et cette relation humaine. Ne t'inquiète pas, c'est juste la ah, scène qui s'en va. Ah, bah, Au revoir, parfait. la scène. Oui. Et ça, c'est quelque chose d'essentiel pour nous. On ne peut pas opposer, effectivement, le, digi le digital avec les relations humaines. Hein, c'est quelque chose d'essentiel. Et nos clients et les clients, de façon générale, attendent, à côté du digital, un niveau de relation client qui soit important et qui est de plus en plus élevé. Les attentes, les exigences des clients, aujourd'hui, ne ressemblent pas à celles qu'il y avait aujourd'hui. Parce que le digital fait que nos clients sont mieux informés qu'il y a 5 ans ou il y a 10 ans. Donc mmh. les personnes qu'on met en face doivent être d'un autre, autre niveau. Donc on est intéressé notamment par trois sujets, et là on les a en, en commun. D'abord, c'est l'évolution des métiers. Bien sûr. C'est la préparation, effectivement, c'est l'anticipation des compétences qui seront euh, nécessaires demain. C'est l'équilibre entre le digital et, et l'humain. Et puis, c'est la dimension sociale et sociétale. Je parlais de clients, mais on pourrait parler de citoyens aussi, euh, quelque part. L'administration, au sens général, est intéressée par ce type de, de travail. Donc, très heureux, en tout cas, d'être euh, associé à Day One, mais surtout... Très heureux potentiellement du travail qui est fait entre deux Day One, si j'ose dire. Exactement. Et, et, et là, on est très très heureux effectivement de, de pouvoir participer, supporter en tout cas ces groupes Super. De, de travail. Ben Eric, merci beaucoup de, voilà. de votre soutien. Donc, je vous laisse la place à la première session. Regardez bien ce qu'on vient de faire avec Deliveroo. C'est peut-être quelque chose qui va changer la face de l'industrie. 
C'est arrivé à Day One et c'est la preuve qu'on est en train de servir à quelque chose. Merci, à tout à l'heure.